congratulations, first of all. Uh, can you both both address, um, you know, it, it was a little harder than people might have thought, you know, when you just looked at the records and what, what situation the two teams were coming in. You know, can you just talk about how your team was able to to maintain and, and stay ahead and, and finally win because it was only one point at the half? Um, I feel like in the ACC, records don't really matter in the ACC. Everybody is tough. Everybody compete with the same energy. Everybody is on every, every, I feel like in the ACC, every game is going to be a close game. So just Louisville, they, they played good today. They, they got on a, on a little high streak and they just played um, great. And we just kept focus the whole game, even though we knew it was going to be a tough one today because they came off a bad loss last game and they just wanted to come back and win. So we played, we just kept focus and tried and played our hardest. I want to ask about El Ellis. I mean, he was one of 10 when you played them in December up there. Tonight he ends up with 33 points, even though coach said you guys were guarding him well. Can you just talk about what he did tonight, considering the defense you played on him? And yeah, I mean, obviously we knew he was a great player coming in. Um, obviously his stats showed the thing. Um, obviously he's running this and leading this, you know, Louisville team, um, despite the record. Um, obviously he came in today, it was really hot to start off the game. Um, obviously we had to make defensive adjustments, but at that time he was already going in hot. Um, but obviously we knew, you know, the, at the end of the day, the game's going to run through him. Um, if we could try, you know, take the ball out of his hands as much as possible in that second half, um, I feel like that was a difference maker. <clears throat> what were you able to finally do to separate at the end there? You hit that three-pointer to make it 10. What were some of the things that you did to make it? Yeah, we, we got some stops. Obviously, Benza came in and was the havoc on defense. Obviously, we see he got some, you know, offensive fouls on them. He got a couple steals in the crunch time, and that gave us that lead. Um, we were able to get that lead. Uh, we got some stops towards the end and made our free throws at the end of the game to put it away. Um, I feel like all the little things... Um, especially Bensley coming in, just being the havoc that you know don't go on the stat sheet is really what was important. Isaiah, this is the fourth game, fourth game of the season that you guys scored over 90 points, I believe. Just you know, team wise, what you guys do offensively that works so well? Um, I felt we just played together. We got a lot of people open. I think we had a lot of assists today, and we just played together as a team. And like we have a we have a good starting five that all all of us can get 20. And I felt like a lot of us did this game, and we just we're a high high octane offensive team and when we play the defensive side is even better and we create more more offensive abilities and we just score a, a lot. Isaiah, what's the learning experience of a game like this, a team that really has nothing to play for basically? Um, just, just stay focused I feel like because every team they always got a chip on their shoulder, they always want to win a game and we're, we're in a position we need to win every game to get that ACC um, regular season title. So every game is, um, I feel like it's a championship right now. What did Coach tell you guys at halftime? It was only one point. What was his message at halftime? Uh, he was just telling us, I mean, obviously we knew how good El Ellis was and how big they were trying to play. Obviously we knew they were one of the tallest teams in the country. Um, obviously they were showing that in the first half. We knew in the second half we had to defensively step it up. Um, obviously we, we got a game plan to try to take the ball out of El Ellis' hands as much as possible. Uh, and we knew we need to block out a rebound. Um, and if we did that, then we'd be straight. Guys, talk, both of you talk about the, the, your, your offensive explosion. On a night when Louisville had probably their best offensive game of the season, you guys had three people over 20 points each, and you put 93 points on the board. It's hard to do uh, on a night when, when they were playing their best offensive game of the season. Can you just talk about how explosive you guys are as a team offensively, that will near in the post, and all you guys in the wings make the shots. Um, for us, we're just a, like I said, we're just a high octane offensive team. We have a lot of people that can score over twenty, and it's even dangerous when we all we all have a single game. We all when we all feeling it, and we all sharing the ball, getting open looks to each other. So it just when we when we do that, it's going to be nineties or hundreds maybe sometimes. But when we start get to the feeling, and we start get passing the ball, movement, all that, it's just a it's a dangerous look for us. You don't have much time now. You're playing at North Carolina on Monday. Uh, you know what? I mean, how do you guys prepare for that? You're going to travel to Mars, the Super Bowl, and then all of a sudden you're playing at North Carolina. What, you know, what do you think about that game coming up so fast? Um, for us, I feel like we just got a recovery and we got to rest and recover. I feel like and work on the mental part of the of the game and just um, mentally prepare ourselves because we got a game in in like two days. So there's going to be just a quick process. Uh, quick um, two days and we just got to be ready when when we play North Carolina. What are you expecting, Nigel, from North Carolina up there? 
obviously, I, I feel like it's going to be a good atmosphere. Um, obviously, going to be a place somewhere fun to play at. Um, obviously, them coming off, you know, really good last year. Uh, obviously, they want to win. Obviously, beating Clemson today was really good for them. Uh, but obviously, we're all in the same thing. We're all reaching for the same thing as that ACC regular season championship. Obviously, we know a road win is something we really need. And all these final games that we're coming up on are really important. So, obviously, everybody on the team knows how important this game is on the road. And obviously, North Carolina knows how important for them to win this game. So, I feel like it's going to be a really interesting matchup. It's going to be really fun as well.